everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video I've got a very special video for you and it is a huge paper squishy collection now I've actually done 100 paper squishies and you're probably thinking why on earth did I do so many well the reason is today is my 100th upload onto YouTube I know it's been a long time coming because I started the channel like so long ago um, but yeah, I've only recently been kind of consistent. I think I've done like 50 since the start of 2018, which is just crazy to me. Um, so yeah, today I wanted to mark the fact that it's my 100th video with 100 or something. And considering everyone's been loving my paper squishies recently, I thought what better than to do them, obviously, with 100 paper squishies. So that's exactly what I did. So I started this last week when we had all the snow and everything and I wasn't filming because I kind of felt a little bit guilty. Um... But yeah, let's get started. We just need the camera. There we are. Okay, so I'll start off with this box. I like kind of just here's some. <laughs> some. Okay. First up is this little fries squishy. Really love this one. It's nice and small. Just fits in my hand perfectly. I cut out the little fries individually and just made him there. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I filled this one with foam feels like foam so that's number one number two is the little sushi you've seen this in a previous collection so I don't need to say a lot about that one but it squishes really nicely it's a really nice size and I love its little face next up is a new one you haven't seen this one and this was supposed to be a shell but I feel like it kind of looks like a little glove or something um but yeah I'm really happy with how this one turned out I love the color and there's that one next we have a little broccoli <laughs> I don't know why I chose to do broccoli to be honest I think I just I like the vegetable broccoli which most people don't so yeah that's the little broccoli I love his little face and let me just squish this one this one's actually more slow rising I think I put a mixture of stuffing and the little bits of memory foam in this one so there's that one next I have this purple cotton candy along with this um, pink one and this blue one so another three here I did do a tutorial on this one as a lot of people were asking how I made this pink one in my last collection video so yeah here's these three I'm really happy with how they all turned out on the little sticks and stuff so yeah how many is that I have no idea seven next I have up is this little kind of pusheen inspired one I made this one nice and simple it squishes nicely can you hear that sounds great right um but yeah love this one love pushing don't have anything more to say about that one next up was this little tooth i made this one inspired by a squishy that i seen on pinterest i'm not sure the original creator but i really love how this one turned out let's give this a squish that's that one also, I have dentist in like two weeks time, so that's going to remind me to go to the dentist. So I might keep that one on my desk, actually. Ooh. Next, I have this little fried egg. And I made this because of my fried egg plushies that I usually make. Um, I have a little one of that and a big one. Um, but I realised I never had a paper squishy, so I just made one of those. Next up is the Doritos bag. I've done a full tutorial on this one and it's also in my last um, Paper Squishy collection. Um, a lot of people like this one. Some people got really mad at me because I put little bits of, um, oh, what do you call it, memory foam inside. Um, obviously you don't have to do that. I tried to explain it in my description but people just weren't reading it so I still got mad comments. But this, I really like this one this one is super slow rising it just pops up it's got loads of air in it and i think that is because half of it like this middle section is memory foam but yeah just look at that it's fantastic <laughs> okay next up is this little alien face now i love this guy i love little aliens well it would help if it would focus to be honest come on focus ha there we go um yeah i just love this little guy so much like aliens are not supposed to be cute but this is a cute alien and yeah i just <laughs> i love it like i feel like i want to make a cushion out of this or something because i just love this so much maybe i'll make a picture yeah i'm gonna make a picture a quite alien picture for my wall that'd be great i love it so so cute just look at those little eyes ah! <laughs> oh i love it anyway next up was this little heart peach 
Now I did this in my last Paper Squishy collection. It squishes really nicely. I like it, I based it on the eye bloom, but to make it a little different. Next we have this little watermelon kind of cupcake. I made this just because I was making a cupcake and I made it green and I thought what better to make it into a watermelon cupcake. I think I need to go faster out, so I'm gonna be here all day. Okay, cactus. This guy's really cute, I love its face. I made one of these in a last collection video, but this one here was more simple. So yeah, really like that one. Oh, there it is. There's the other cactus. The two cactuses together. See, as you can see, they're both different shapes. This one is more simple, but I love them both the same. This one here, I actually put like little spikes on. I don't know if you can see that. No, it's not focusing again. There we go. So I had little spikes on this one, so I felt like that gave it a little bit more detail. So there's those two. Next up is this jumbo ice cream. Now this one is huge. Like I did do a tutorial on this one. I think it's gonna come up in the paper squishy week because I did film it, so it'll be a shame to go to waste. Um, yeah, I really love how this one turned out. It's slow rising, it's big, it's just great, love it. Next up is another jumbo squishy and that was this cow milk bottle thingy. Um, I posted a full tutorial on that one. A lot of you love that. I think that's almost, no, that definitely is the most viewed paper squishy video that I have so far. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's like found my channel through that one and commented on it and stuff like that because I'm so grateful because I really love how this one turned out and I'm just so grateful you do too. I should really start squishing these squishies, shouldn't I? Let's just stop talking. Okay, let's go. Unicorn, love a unicorn. Can beat a unicorn. Super cute, super squishy. Didn't puff up the tail because I just liked it as a bit of detail. So there's that one. Next up is my Galaxy Avocado. I did a field tutorial on that one. I tell you what, I'll leave all the tutorials in the description below so that you can kind of click on those, see all those, how, see how I made them and stuff like that. But this one here, I just love it. It's so slow rising, it works so well. And I think that's because like this bulk is the perfect size. Like it could trap air in it, but not too much air. And it just, yeah, it works really, really well, that one. That one there was actually inspired by this little guy. Someone called my cute little avocado ugly, which I wasn't impressed by because I don't think it's ugly at all and I think it's cute. But it's okay, everyone thinks other things are cute and ugly and you know, we can get over that. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I just, I don't know, I love it. So yeah, there's that one. Okay, next up is a sushi and a purple poop. I should do them two at a time. That's gonna speed things up. So yep, a purple poop and a sushi. I did this one because a lot of people were like, oh, your candy floss looks like poop on a stick. <laughs> so I made a poop without the stick. Um, yeah, so the sushi and the poop without a stick. Next up was this little mini cookie. I based this on the mini cookie that I made previously for my mini squishy week. So there's that one. It squishes kind of nicely. I could have made it a little bit bigger, but I just fancied a little one. And then the next one was this little purple jelly bean. I just fancied making a little simple one and I feel like, oh, he matches my nails perfectly. Um, yes, I really like that one. Wanted to make a simple little one because I had like 90 and at this point I just wanted to make simple shapes. So there's that one. Next up was this panda donut squishy. Now I know this is a squishy by a creator. I don't know what that squishy creator person's called. But I know this is an actual squishy, but there's that one. So if you know that, please comment it because I want to buy this. Um, next up was the Pat Pat Zoo Sheep Squishy. Now I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. I filled it with a bag and I'm actually going to post a tutorial on how I made this guy tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, so Saturday. Um, I made him in the Galaxy style because I've seen no one else do him in the Galaxy style. I have seen a couple of YouTubers do this and... I just wanted to make something different to bring you something extra from my channel. So there's that one. It squishes really, really nicely. It's nice and thick. And yeah, love that one. Next up was this jumbo cloud. I have filmed a tutorial on this one too. In a minute, I'm going to stop saying that because I still have two whole bags of paper squishies. So yeah, there's that one. Next up, the last from this bag is a little bumblebee and a pizza. They squish very nicely. They're both quite small. I did them both in the same yellow color, but obviously look how different they are in terms of squishies, so different. So if you only have a couple colored pens, 
then you can always make so many different squishies just from those couple color of pens. So there's those. Uh, next up was this alpaca squishy, which was inspired by the Vlampo squishy. Now, the Galaxy one of them is my ultimate dream squishy that I just want to buy myself, but I can't bring myself to buy it because here it's like £30. And I think £30 is approximately, I don't know, almost $40. Like $40 for a squishy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really love squishies, but I don't think I could spend $40. That's like two takeaways and I love food. <laughs> So, yeah, there's that one. Really happy with how that turned out. So yeah, this is the first box. As you can see, big box full of paper squishies. Next up, I have this bag full and this bag full. Like, you can't even see how big this bag is because it's, look, this bag, it's completely full. The first bag, I'm gonna have to really speed up here because I've been filming for, I think 12 minutes now and I'm never gonna get through these without sitting here for an hour. So the first bag, here's some more. <laughs> um, let me turn all these over so you can actually see them. Okay, these ones here are a little bit smaller and I just wanted to make some small handheld ones. So let's get started. The first one we have is this little strawberry I made in pink and with the green top. I had little white things and this was based on the duct tape one that I made last week. Oh, I didn't squish them. There's that one. These all the way. Next I have this little coffee and I based this one off like a basic Starbucks Frappuccino type thing and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I popped the little face down the bottom with the whipped cream at the top. And this one here I can feel is definitely toy stuffing. Next up I have this mustard and I know I made a ketchup somewhere. Yep, yeah, here's the mustard and the ketchup together. I'm really happy with how these guys turned out. I tried to do a few little pairs um, with like milk and cookies and mustard and ketchup and stuff like that, but then they all got mixed up in all these bags, so there's that. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the other. These turned out their little spouts at the top and just great. This could even be good, like, give to your friend and stuff like that. Like, best friend squishies. That's a great idea. So if you make some for your friends at school, what a great idea. Anyway, so next I moved on, I did the peas and the carrots. And this could be another best friend idea, actually. They squish really nicely. They're nice and small, so they don't take long to make. And there's those. It would help if it actually focused on there. There we are. So yeah, there's those ones. Next, have a little cup of coffee in this one. This one here was actually white. Um, I don't know why I made the mug white. I probably just felt like I didn't want to color anymore. But yeah, it's got the coffee inside, all the swells and a little handle. So there's that one. Next, I have a normal sized cloud instead of the jumbo cloud. I made this one because there was a few requests to make a cloud paper squishy. Um, I didn't actually plan to make the jumbo one, but then I felt like making the jumbo one after, so a little cloud to go with the big cloud. Next up was this little turtle. Now turtles used to be my favourite kind of animal in school, and to be honest I still think they're really cute, but there's that one. Next up I made the YouTube play button, and the reason I did this one was because when I was making the Doritos one, everyone thought I made a YouTube play button, but I was making Doritos. So I thought I'd make that one. This one here turned out really well. I think I posted this one with um, memory foam and stuffing, so it's nice and slow rising again. So I think that definitely works better when you do the two mixed together. So there's that one. I have milk and uh, popcorn. These two are nice and small again with their cute little faces. I don't really have anything to say about these, apart from I love them and they're cute. <laughs> Next up I have this little um, ice cream cone um, with kind of like a whippy ice cream on top. I had obviously made the jumbo ice cream scoop one so this one here is like a little whippy one and I did like the waffling in the same way as I did in that one. I have this little pop tart. This was inspired by my pop tart phone case that I made 
quite a few months ago. I'd like to say like last year or something. It wasn't the best, but this guy's cute, so I like him. I have this watermelon. You've seen this one before in my collection. It's really nice and slow rise in this one. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Again, the ones that I'm more happy with have bits of memory foam in, but people get mad when you put a little bit of foam in. So I haven't been doing that recently. I've been trying to find different ways to do different squishies. But yeah, super happy with this one and how this one turned out. Um, next I have this little pumpkin. I'll pair this one with an ice cream. Because who doesn't love pumpkin and ice cream? So yeah, that's, that's them. Um, <laughs> pumpkin got me thinking about Halloween. This year I'm going to do loads of kawaii Halloween videos. I'm also going to do Christmas this year because for the past two years while I've had YouTube I've never actually filmed during December which is the craziest thing. But last year I obviously moved house and the year before I was sucked at YouTube. So this year is the year. So yep, there's those two. Okay, next I have this little grape juice box or carton as we call it here in the UK. I really like how this guy turned out. I think it's so cute. I popped a little um, grape at the top along with this little straw. And yeah, it matches perfectly again with my nails. How great is that? So there's that one. Um, next up I have a pretzel and this one here was weirdly requested by my boyfriend. He wanted me to make a pretzel squishy. So I was like, okay, I'll make a pretzel squishy. So. Here's this one. This was actually quite hard to make. I, like, I honestly didn't know how to draw a pretzel. So yeah, if you like pretzels, you can make a pretzel squishy. By the way, if you um, like any of these and I haven't done a tutorial, please ask because I can always go ahead and make a tutorial in the future if you have any requests or anything like that. And by the way, if you don't like paper squishies, please feel free to leave requests also because I don't know what to make if I don't know. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, if you don't like them so much, but you just like the cute faces like I do, then um, yeah, just comment down below what type of videos you would like to see and I can always make some of those. So yeah, there's the pretzel. Next up was this bubble tea and this was a request from someone and I can't remember her name, but this was requested in a couple videos to make a little bubble tea and I'm happy I did because I've done a plushie and I think I might have done a charm as well. I know I've definitely made a charm, but I don't know if I've done a tutorial on it. Um, but yeah, there's that one. Next up was this rocket. And I did this rocket because I was doing quite a lot of um, space ones. I think they're in my next bag. But as you can see here, here's the Earth. Um, I did like a star and Mars and stuff like that. So Earth and a rocket. Feet squish really nicely. Give you a crinkle. Yeah, there's those two. Next, these kind of look all foodie apart from this fish, so I'll do this fish. Focus. Did it go this way? I think this way. This way looks better. So yep, I have a little blue fish. Next, I have a soda and a milk carton. I wanted to make this one into a strawberry milk carton, but it ended up looking like watermelon because for some reason I added a bit of green on it. But I don't know, I really like how it turned out. This soda is my absolute fave though, because I love the straw, I love its face. I wrote soda on it so you knew exactly what was inside. And yeah, there's that one. Next, I have this donut and also this little love bug, as I've called it. Kind of like a ladybird, but um, I put hearts on it to make it into a little love bug and a little donut. I didn't actually cut the hole in this one because honestly, I just couldn't be bothered. Um, but if you were to make this one, you could obviously cut a hole. I have a tutorial on that panda one before, which shows you how to make the hole and stuff. So yeah, you can always apply it to a normal donut. Next, I have this burger one. This has been viewed before. It was in my paper squishy collection. Um, yeah, really love how this one turned out. Nice and squishy. Love his little face and its little seeds. So yeah, there's that one. Next, oh, this is the last two from this bag. Woo! Um, and we have a little turnip, I want to call that, and a little sushi roll. They squish nicely, I like the way the colours are blended, and I love this little green bit on top of here, I think it's so cute. So that's the end of this bag. For the third bag, I think we've already done about 60, and I think there's 40 in this one. 
I could be completely wrong. This is a huge, huge bag. Look at the size of this bag. It's huge. It's full of squishies. Okay, let's empty them out. Oh, that was fun. Right, let's go. Let's be faster now because we've been here for ages. Let's do all the yellow ones fast. Okay, pineapple, lemon, lemon slice. We have seen this lemon in my previous um, collection. Some people said it looked like a sad corn when it was upside down. Let's have a look. Oh, it does. That's sad. <laughs> we'll turn him that way. A happy lemon. A happy lemon slice. And a happy pineapple. <laughs> Next we have um, a Mars and a star. Again, this was part of the space kind of theme that I was going for when I was making these particular ones. As I said, I obviously made the rocket and the earth and they were to go with those ones. So yeah, there's the Mars and there's the sun, the, not sun, star. Speaking of sun, here's the sun. Um, this one here, I absolutely love this. This took me ages to get all these little kind of like spikes to go out. I wanted them to be like sun rays, but they just turned into spikes. So maybe this is just a yellow spiky ball. I'm not sure. I tried to do a sun and it turned out like this, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's really interesting, really different shape to normal. It does hurt a little bit when you squish it because like these bits kind of spike you. So it's not too great for a squishy. Don't know why I made it into a squishy. Next we have a Nutella and a jug of coffee. Now this doesn't really look like a jug of coffee, but that's what it is. I tried. Um, I absolutely love Nutella. And um, I actually have a big, big jar of it right now that I'm just like eating with a spoon. And I know that's really bad for you, but I just love it. Um, yep, so here's these two. Next we have a heart and a little mushroom. It's really hard to focus because it keeps focusing on the ones in the background, but yeah, there's those two. I did actually do a pink heart as well, so the mushroom. Um, yep, the pink heart to go with the purple heart. I made the mouths a little bit different, so they were a little bit different from each other. But I just love these two colours together, I just think they're really sweet. Just, just. Okay. Next I have this banana. And um, this wasn't obviously the eye bloom banana, but just a normal banana. The eye bloom banana has been requested a few times, you know, the dipped one with a stick. So I might do a tutorial on that one, but with memory foam instead of paper, because I feel like everyone's going to be sick of paper squishies by the end of next week, because I'm posting them every day. So yeah, there's the banana. Okay, let's take a random handful of four. Right, we have a corn dog here. We don't actually have these in the UK, which I'm sad about. Um, a little slice of bacon, which is obviously streaky bacon. Um, a little planet, which I think was Saturn. Please forgive me if I'm wrong. The one with the little ring thing around it, that's blue. And a pear. Let's squish these all together. Oh, I lost Saturn. But there's those ones. <laughs> I'm so sorry this video has taken so long. But that's what you get when you click on the biggest blooming paper squishy collection ever um this thing i cannot for the life remember me what this is called it's that japanese thing with the all on the stick and i don't know but it's cute and i like it and their little faces this kind of looks like that cute alien that i showed him earlier so cute Okay, next I have a takeaway coffee cup. I like coffee. I've done a lot of coffee squishies. In fact, here's another one. This might not be coffee, because it's just a cup. But it could be coffee inside. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this blue one turned out. I really love how I've kind of taken the lid off so you can see that it kind of was on it and there's coffee inside. And yep, yeah, so here's these two. Next up was the peanut butter and jam. I did two mini squishies on these ones, so I wanted to kind of do a paper version. Oh, that one's burst open. Tape must have come off. Anyway, let's squish those for you. Let's squish nicely. Um, next up was this little guy. You're probably wondering, what is that? This was supposed to be a coffee bean. If you guessed that, then you're great because I don't know what it looks like 
but it doesn't look like a coffee bean to me but that's what it was supposed to be um oh my goodness why did i have to do a hundred okay macaroni and cheese now i wanted to make these again like the pair that they are to kind of go with like you know like i said like the best friend to give things so if you're making them for a friend you can have the macaroni they can have the cheese macaroni cheese i don't like macaroni cheese because i don't really like cheese that much but i do like macaroni so that's something right um they squish really nicely this one here is in kind of like a rainbow shape but obviously it was meant to be like a a tube and it isn't really focusing well come on there we go yep and here are the little faces both the same love them both they're so stupid talking about rainbow shape i do have a rainbow and this was inspired because i do have a subscriber who loves rainbows i want to say her name's or his name their name i want to say that their name is everything rainbow i always know when i see it because of that rainbow icon but the rainbow squishy oh that surprised me this one must be another memory foam toy stuffing one because this one's bouncing back nicely this one feels really good so a little rainbow okay so how many is left now one two three four five fourteen more the hot dog i love this hot dog this hot dog loves me come on focus gosh i'm having all sorts of problems there we go so yep the hot dog i really love this one because i drew it so it was like kind of 3d inside of it if you know what i mean rather than actually making a 3d hot dog um i put a little bit of mustard on it and yeah there's the hot dog next have a lime slice to go with that lemon slice that we did before obviously they ended up in different bags so i haven't shown them together was it this bag no it was this bag it was this bag hold on there it is the lemon and lime together yeah i just wanted to make these as you know a pair like i said before they squished really nicely and they was really 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 simple to make so there's those ones next we have this little seal and i want oh what are they called mammy gomas i don't really know i'm really bad with japanese words but i really really love this little seal whenever i see it on cute things i always end up buying it like notebooks and stuff like that but yeah i just wanted to draw one of those so i got that one next up was these novels you've obviously seen this purple one as this was the first paper squishy that i made and then i actually went and made the chubby little novel that i always see on like little backgrounds and i always see it on pinterest and stuff like that so i just wanted to make this one um i made them kind of both the same size they squish really nicely they're nice and little so you can put them in like your pencil case or something like that i know a lot of people have been saying that they've been taking them to school so great size Next I had this little bunny shape. It was a really, really simple one. Just kind of a circle with the ears on. I didn't actually stuff the ears, so these here are just like really, really thin. Um, but yeah, there's the bunny. Next up were these two completely random ones. This here was a, meant to be a sugar cube, but it kind of looks like an ice cube or something. But I made this one to go with the um, coffee bean. That didn't turn out too great, so coffee bean and sugar cube. So you can kind of see where I was going. And also I made this little UFO. And I made this to go with like the little space ones again and like that little alien. So this one here has a little alien side. I think it's so cute. So yeah, there's those ones. Let me just squish them for you. There we are. Next up was this one. And this here was actually meant to be like a little cake or something. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really look like a cake, but that's what it was supposed to be. I think it's cute anyway because I love pink and blue together. So cute. But yeah, there's that one. Next up was this little moon. I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. It's kind of hard for me to do because I didn't have a really, really light gray color. So I just kind of used the white with um, the little bit of silver pen on top. This one here, like these circle ones do squish really well. These would be a great ones to put like um, a bag in or something like that. So if you don't have any toy stuffing, a bag would be perfect for these because the bag's obviously really easy to get in a circle shape. So that one next up was this little s'mores squishy now i made this one because obviously i've made the um memory foam squishy and the felt plushy keyring that i made the other day but i've never done a paper s'mores squishy so yeah there's that one it's nice and just 
cute just cute so next just have three left and first one we'll do is this little apple I just did a red apple obviously you can do a green one or well any other color that you want really um, yep not much else to say that it's an apple next up I made this little coca-cola can with a straw I absolutely love coke no I absolutely love coca-cola I'm really really happy with how this little one turned out so there's that one just like keep flinging them but there's a huge pile over there and then last but not least is this little oh what would you call this like a little octopus or squid or something I see these all the time I think they have a proper name but I didn't want to do like the little round mouth that you usually see on them so I did that mouth yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turned out I really like the shape of the legs and stuff so if you want to tutorial in this one I'll be more than happy to post that so yeah there's that one now hopefully that's 100 I'm gonna count them on screen when I edit this in a minute because I'm running out of time to post this video I need to post this video within half an hour and I don't know how that's gonna go because I keep rambling on and I've got so much rambling on to go through like I've got over half an hour's worth of footage so yeah it's not gonna work especially if I keep talking so let me just I don't even know how to comprehend how many squishes there are here look at all these these are all over my floor by the way, I'm sat on the floor because I needed more space. Just keep on. So you can actually see how many there are. So yeah, this one here. Oh. And then this other bag. Oh wait, there's more. And this other bag. <laughs> so I was gonna zoom you out here. More, more, more. There's too many. this many squish but look you can just like rummage through them there's 100 i hope and yeah what one's my favorite someone's gonna ask me this and i'm gonna be like oh i don't know so let me just think what one's my favorite i love this galaxy avocado i love it i love this so much i love this pat pat sushi so cute i love the youtube play button in fact, I just love them all because I made them all because I like them. And yeah, so 100 squishies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you do because this video took me so long to make because I wanted to make obviously 100 for my 100th video. I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. Um, we just hit 4,500 subscribers this morning, which I'm super, super grateful for as we only actually got 4,000 subscribers on Sunday. So that's like what? Monday, Tuesday, month. Five days and we've gained 500. That's absolutely crazy. So that's an average of over 100 a day. And yes, 100 a day for 100 paper squishies. That's great. So yeah, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently. Everyone who's been here from the beginning of my channel. Um, yeah, thank you. And thank you for making me do silly things like making 100 paper squishies <laughs> so yeah please give this video a like if you have any requests for request week which i'll be doing from next saturday till the saturday after please leave them in the comments if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below um please let me know your favorite squishy i'd love to know and yeah i'll see you in tomorrow's video bye